kids. My name is Hallie. I work with the Chattanooga Public Library in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Today we're going to learn about frogs and the wonderful sounds or calls that they make. Do you know what a frog says? Did you say ribbit? Well, there is one frog that says ribbit, but it's not in this area. The frogs that live around us here in Chattanooga say things like peep, 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 and broom, 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 and click, 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 and and meep, 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 and lots of other cool sounds. I'm standing in front of a wet and froggy place near the Tennessee River in Chattanooga. Are you ready to listen to some frogs with me? Okay. The first frog we're gonna listen to is the Eastern Cricket Frog. To me, it sounds a little like marbles being dropped like this. Or like someone tapping two stones together like this. This is a frog that likes ponds and you can hear it from April throughout the summer. Listen to a whole group of them calling from Ray County. Now we're going to hear three different types of frogs all calling at one time. It's like a frog party. Each type of frog makes a different sound. See if your ears can pick out the eastern cricket frog from this frog party in Meigs County, Tennessee. Remember, listen for the sound like click, click, click. Did you hear it? It takes some practice to become a good listener. Let's listen to another type of frog, the spring peeper. It likes places with some trees and water together. Like its name says, it makes a peep, peep sound. You can hear spring peepers from February through summer, but the best time is early spring. Let's listen to these on Signal Mountain. Did you hear the peep? Now, see if you can hear spring peepers at the same frog party we heard before, along with the eastern cricket frog. Listen for the peep. Now we will learn a third frog called Cope's Gray Tree Frog. It is a frog that likes trees, as its name tells us. You might be able to hear it in your backyard. I have heard one by the South Branch Library. It calls from spring through fall, but rainy summer evenings are a great time to hear it. To me, it sounds a little like someone gargling. Let's listen to the Cope's Gray Tree Frog now, this time near Moccasin Bend. See if you can hear all three now. The click click of the eastern cricket frog, the peep 
of the spring peeper and the gargly sound of the cope's gray tree frog. Good job! You're becoming a good nighttime naturalist using your ears to find animals. Now I want to share a few more frogs with you just for fun because they sound so cool. The first is from near the Chattanooga Choo Choo. You can hear two kinds of frogs, the green tree frog, which sounds a little like a Muppet character to me, going meep merk, meep merk all through the recording, and a few low calls of the American bullfrog, our biggest frog, going vroom, vroom. The last recording is not from Chattanooga, but it is from Tennessee. It is of the crawfish frog, which sounds like a loud snore. Listen to this frog, and if you're really a good listener, you might be able to hear the spring peepers peeping behind the snoring sounds. job listening. Listening is an important part of learning about animals and our world. You just learned to hear three frogs with me and three bonus frogs. That's six frogs all together. I hope you can hear some frogs this summer. You don't have to go to the woods to hear them. You can go to a park right here in Chattanooga or you can just go to a field or other low place, especially after a heavy rain when it's nice and wet, and keep those ears open. Good luck listening.